Alright guys, we are back into Until Dawn, and we are picking up exactly where we left off last episode, so let's just go back right on into it. This is a pretty long trip to get to a guest cabin. Shouldn't they, you know, be like right next to each other? Uh, she's gonna climb over. Show off. Hey, Mike, you got something on your face. Ah. Ouch. Okay, okay. That's how it's gonna be. Oh, God. That's great. Demi! What? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, well, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. <laughs> Ten forty-four at night. Come on. Playing at the beautiful Sam. She's definitely probably my favorite female so far, and I'm still sticking I like Mike as my favorite male so far, male lead. Guess nothing I can pick up. Guess not. That was weird. Guess we gotta go downstairs. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit. Now that's just stupid. No, messing with a spirit board is so stupid. Like, <laughs> people can make fun all they want, but I... I am a... I'm not going to say a true believer, but I am a very superstitious person to the point where I will never, ever in my life mess with a Ouija board. Never. You don't mess with the spirits, dude. You don't mess with the spirits. Hey, you notice 
is how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Now I was thinking they could use some alone time. They're sweet together. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Romantic went up, and that was it. Josh with his lovely sisters. A photo of Josh, Hannah, and Beth on the beach. It was taken the summer before they disappeared. August 13th, Cape Cod, 2013. Cinema room. Hold on. No, stop it. Stop it. Gotta look around, Josh. Come on. You never know where a totem may be hiding. nowhere you know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say what? it really, really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you you came Sam Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, we want us to have a good time, you know? Does he like Sam? Ooh, there's something here that we didn't see. A door. Until you fall. Sorry, sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own. Got a bet. Pretty, pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm sorry. Hmm, what did that do? Ah! Oh, I don't want to leave it in the cellar. But apparently that's going to have a reaction on something later on.
Oh, I messed up. You just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. What I do wrong? Do I gotta wait? Till the meter goes up? Oh, that's probably it. Oh, did you see that? Like Behind right. the cabinet thing. Five, Got that. Yeah. Behind the cabinet thing, somebody moved. Somebody ran by. At least I thought I saw something. It was in the corner of my eye because the quick time event caught me off guard. <laughs> Simple tennis, Sam. So brave and charitable went way down, but my funny went way up. Why did my relationship with Josh go down at all in the first place? Oh, dollhouse. Creepy. I guess I can't do nothing with it. It's a weird keyhole. Obviously don't have that key. Surprised there's no totem down here. Oh my god. How much do you want to... 
No, that ain't no killer. The killer's wearing the mask or whatever. No, come on! Why are these doors locked? T -t to keep out strangers. Hey. Yeah, it's. It's Chris. You just got mumped. What? <laughs> nice. nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old crap out here. Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you, are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit. Dumb little prank may have a slight whip of humor. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said prank, which was dumb. No, do not leave the light. Josh! Why don't she yell at me? What in God's name are you wearing? Or Josh. I don't know why I said me. <laughs> Stupid. You know, you know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. All right? So have fun. Oh, but we'll watch out for that, Josh. Okay. Okay, we're back to Matt and Emily. Hello, or is Matt going to come with me to get my bag? And we're playing as Matt. 10.51 at night. And we have a totem to start it out. It's a guidance one. Uh, is there a reason I can't look at it? Um, maybe we already found... That's probably the one we found outside the lodge, so that's probably why. Ah, they should they should get rid of that. I always like going the opposite direction to see if we can find anything. Probably a giant waste of time, but... Ooh, what's this? Is that, is that a butt? You're, you're a butt. Yep, more cigars. The label is distinctive. It looks like a... What is that? An Indian headdress? <laughs> we already saw this, but just in case. Okay, I guess we'll make our way to the right path. If we didn't go that way, though, we wouldn't have found the uh, cigar. Which means he was right there. No flashlight, too, by the way. I'm surprised she's actually coming with us. You are, madam. Why, thank you, sir. Hey, 
you, hey, ma'am. Yeah? I think we should start the weekend over. Right now. Right now. Clean slate. Clean slate. Oh. No arguing. No mic. No Jess. Just you and me. Just ourselves and all this nature. Oh, you mean oh natural? Damn straight. I can get with that. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Probably upped our relationship with her. Funny went down. I'm terrified to look at these things. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. What was that about? Must be motion sensor or something. Or somebody turned it on. Flirt. You, uh, trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? Can we even go this way? Nope. We have power, so why is it locked off? By the way, I guess that's the. Hey. Oh my god. I was just about to say I don't hate you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, for Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. Boast. It's, it's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that funny went back up. Romantic went up. Emily went up. Oh God. <laughs> I was being like sexy. Oh, this makes it look like we're being watched. These camera angles are great. Big light on over there. So pretty out here tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's so, nice. so nice to meet here with you, muscle man. Ah, uh, not all muscle. There are some brains in here too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. You do me. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot... Oh my god. With a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Gentlemen. Come on, let's look around. Swipe it off some more. Oh, oh Mike and M. Hey. Don't be jealous. Why would you take me? Like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay. Chump. 
isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. Not in there. Okay, I didn't know if I could do anything else with it. What's so important in the bag, anyways? This is just my undies. The lacy ones. <laughs> Let's try to be funny. It's like, why didn't you say so? Why didn't you say we were scooping up such precious cargo? On the leg, on the leg. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly didn't realize it was so important to you. Didn't, did, uh, hello? <laughs> Gotta get our funny up since it was so low. Wow, everything else went down. Brave, charitable, and honest for some reason went down. Just because I said that. It's weird. Okay, well now I know the secret to getting you to do what I want when I want. The secret is true fact. Uh, something's shining over here, so I guess we'll go this way first. No, okay, that's dropping down, so first we're actually going to go up. Because I feel like if I drop down, I'm not going to be able to get back up again. Let's get the sexy kisser on this thing, Jared, put your hand in it. Damn, I wouldn't. Just slide it up. No, what if the bear trap's in there? That must have been Jess's scream. It's kind of cool how we're coinciding with other events. Because that was definitely Jess's yo. Door is not going to be able to turn on, but hmm. oh. or gate, I should say, not door. This music is very suspenseful. Like, I feel like something's about to hit me. What? Is that a severed pig head? Hey. What the hell? Welcome back. Uh, that was not there before. This is recent. Is that a note? Uh, Welcome back. Northern Provinces Penitentiary. Oh no. From the prison. God. Oh, Matt! What the hell's going on? What the hell did this? You know, I'm kind of not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kind of just want to split. Agreed. Wow. What? 
There's a beating heart. His windows are barred and there's a, a hook. What is wrong with this dude's office? I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. And a giant spider. Oh. Fear of isolation? I guess. <laughs> That's cool. I like this. This whole, like, psychological aspect of it's really cool to me. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you, what you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Hmm. I buy you honesty. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity. That's a tough situation. I would still rather have somebody be honest with me than lie. Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? No, oh, shut up. I really wonder what all this is leading up to. Previously on Until Dawn, but before we do that, guys, you knew it was coming. We are going to split the episode here, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Stay tuned for more. And as always, I will see you for more later on. Have a good one.